an understanding of the large blue's unusual life cycle came just too late to stop this species extinction in Britain in 1979. Armed with this knowledge, Swedish butterflies were introduced in Dartmoor on a trial basis. The trial was successful, leading to further introductions in the West Country. In 2006, the estimated number of adults flying was 10,000 at 11 sites, which was the largest number seen in the British Isles for over 60 years. Notable colonies are in the Polden Hills in Somerset, Dartmoor and Gloucestershire. The butterflies have spread to other sites since reintroduction, and many others have been prepared. The large blue requires fairly close grazed grassland, where the main food plant, wild thyme, is found in abundance. Wild marjoram can be used, but its unusual life cycle also relies on the presence of a particular species of red ant, Myrmica sabuleti, and this is the factor that has been key to their reintroduction. Typical sites are on a south-facing slope that receives the full benefit of the sun. Although this is a sun-loving butterfly, intermittent sunshine or overcast conditions are best to find adults basking with their wings held open. This reveals the characteristic pattern on the full wings, which is unique in the UK. The sexes are similar, though the female is usually a little larger, with heavier markings. After emerging, females typically fly to the bottom of the slope, where they are intercepted by males, in search of a mate. The pale underwing, with large black spots, is also diagnostic. This becomes darker and duller with age, as does the upper wing surface. After a short aerial courtship, they remain together for an hour or so, after which the female hides for a few hours whilst her eggs ripen. You can see that the underwing of both sexes is very similar. Because the larvae are cannibalistic in their first instar, eggs are laid singly amongst unopened flowers of wild thyme. This butterfly chose thyme growing on an ant hill and nectared on the flower heads between laying eggs. The eggs soon hatch, and the larvae, having fed on the thyme flowers, drop to the ground in their fourth instar. Like other blue butterfly species, the larvae are attractive to ants as they secrete a sweet liquid and resemble their own larvae. They are soon found and carried back to the nest where they live alongside the ant grubs. Here they feed on the ant grubs before hibernating and feeding again in the spring. The pupa is formed in the ant chamber and is attended by ants until the butterfly emerges and crawls to the surface, still accompanied by the ants, where it climbs up nearby vegetation before expanding its wings. There is one generation each year, although recent evidence suggests that larvae might spend two years in the ant nest. The adult butterfly is seen from early June, peaking mid-June and flying until late July. The existence of the large blue in the British Isles today is due to a coordinated and ongoing conservation effort, led by Butterfly Conservation, in partnership with a group of conservation bodies. So far, the results are very encouraging.